In today's video, I'm going to be finding the best fitness influencer out of Chloe Ting, Madfit, Pamela Reed, Blogilates, Lily Sabri, and many more. I'm going to be rating these girls on four metrics, how many calories I burn from their workouts, their personality, their music, and the difficulty of their workouts. I'm going to average out their scores and then see who got the highest score to nominate my favorite. This is all fun and games, but let's just get on into the first day. The first like workout influencer I'm going to be trying is Chloe Ting. You guys know that I've done a lot of Chloe Ting workouts so day one is gonna feel pretty familiar but I actually haven't done Chloe Ting's workouts in like over a month. I switched to Pamela Reef because Pamela Reef's workouts are a little bit more advanced and I was doing Chloe Ting for a really long time so my body needed more of a challenge. Let's just get on into the first workout which will be a HIIT workout and then I'll be doing the ab workout. Each of the workout videos I'll be looking for a 10 minute one. And so work your whole body. Smash that like button. So Chloe's rating. When it comes to calories burned per minute, Chloe is such a boss on this. I rate her five out of five stars. I burned like 200 calories from her workout. And it's so weird that I burned a lot of calories during her workout because I feel like her individual moves actually are pretty easy. It's just a combination of them that is so hard. Her hit workout was so good. There's just something about Chloe's full body workouts, the way that she puts the order that really burns a ton of calories. I rate her a 4 out of 5 stars. I think it's because she's a fellow Asian girl and honestly I feel like she's like my cool aunt that's super fit. She's so real. She's made videos about what her body was like when she didn't work out for a month. Health conditions. She really finds a way to foster community and shows a range of body types in her transformation videos. For her music, I sadly give her a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Um, so her music is super like EDM and it's not that bad the first time around so if you do one of her workouts for the first time her music is pretty good it's fine but as you start to do her workout challenges and you do like one video 15 times that month like you literally want to give up yeah the EDM just isn't for me I rate her a 3.5 out of 5 stars. As I said, the individual workouts aren't super hard, but I think her full body workouts are really the ones I'm gonna stick with. <sighs> no matter how strong I get, I will always struggle with HIIT workouts. <laughs> her ab workouts, personally in my opinion, are not challenging enough for me because I did them so much. I said that Chloe Ting's ab workouts are quote unquote easy, but I just mean that in comparison to other ab workouts. I still struggled a lot. Day two, and today I'm going to be testing out Pamela Reeves' workout. You guys know I already do them, but I'm going to be doing some new ones of hers that I haven't done before. And Pamela actually doesn't talk in any of her videos, I feel like. All of the workout videos I've done from Pamela, she hasn't spoken a word. So that's also an interesting thing that I'm gonna get into. She just posted a hit workout like a week ago, so that is perfect. Lately, I be long asking what it's all for. Winter time, they be bagging hoes like it's a dance sport. I can I'm going straight to her next workout with no breaks. Get it? Hello everyone, I hope today we are going to do this. I just finished my workouts, but yesterday when I did the Chloe Ting workout, I took like a 10 minute break between both of the workouts. So my workout time on my Apple Watch was 30 minutes. And right now, my Apple Watch has been going for like 23 minutes. So I'm actually just gonna sit here for seven minutes. I'm doing this because usually even after I finish a workout, I keep on burning calories five to 10 minutes after. So I just wanna like give Pamela a fair shot. Pamela Reef. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I discovered her. I always saw her videos in my recommended, but for some reason I didn't click on them because I was just so committed to Chloe. Before I reveal the ratings, make sure you're following my Instagram because I'm constantly posting what workouts I do on there and I'm super active on there so you don't want to miss out. Link in the description. And now onto the rating. When it comes to calories per minute, I actually give Pamela 3.75 stars. And I'm so surprised and actually really sad about this rating. I looked at my Apple Watch and saw that I burned less calories than Chloe Ting in 30 minutes. Obviously it depends on each workout so I'm not saying that for every time you work out, Pamela I was gonna burn less than Chloe and I was so disappointed because I really wanted to give Pamela a higher rating because I said that Pamela's workouts are harder. Pamela Reeves workouts are a little bit more advanced. I think that her ab workout was very much just on the ground the whole time so it really hurt but you weren't moving that much. Her personality, I give her a 3 out of 5 stars. I think only like 10% of the videos that she's released on her channel she's actually talking. She hasn't really expressed much of her personality on her channel. There's nothing like wrong with her personality but I just don't really know her as a 
person. I give her 5 out of 5 stars. It's really hard to find good music for a workout video and monetize your content. I know that some of her videos are copyrighted because she makes that sacrifice. I know that she's like friends with like Jason Derulo, so she uses a lot of his music. So I'm like jamming out to her music while I'm doing the workout. I give her a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Her workouts are extremely hard. When I'm doing her ab workouts, I literally feel like I'm going to puke. And that's when you know it's really working you. The reason why I don't give her 5 stars is because like I don't have a 6 pack like her but I can still like get through the workout. 4.5 stars and difficulty is honestly enough to get a good workout in. It's day three and today I'm going to be doing MadFit's workouts. I sometimes do MadFit. I am subscribed to her, but I definitely do like Chloe and Pamela a lot more, but I am a fan of her. My favorite workouts from her are obviously like her short song workouts. I know it seems like I've done a lot of these fitness influencers videos before, but the ones on the next few days will be ones that I haven't done before. What's different about this time is that I'm actually giving them metrics and I'm going to literally like put in the numbers and see which one is the best based off of my ratings and I've never really done that. Unlike the other workouts that I've been doing this week, MadFit did like sets so I would repeat workouts a lot and I honestly don't know how I feel about this. Comment down below, do you like when workouts have repeats? <laughs> For calories per minute, I give her four stars. I actually didn't expect her HIIT workout to burn so many calories, but her HIIT workout was amazing. I actually had a lot of rounds, so I was repeating workouts like three times, and I thought it would bother me, but I actually found it pretty enjoyable. I give her personality a 3.5 out of 5 stars because she is super sweet. You know, it feels like you're working out with a fit friend. I've heard a lot of people say that before, but the reason why I don't give her a 5 out of 5 on personality, I really like that Chloe T energy, the bubbliness. This isn't her fault, but I love when fitness influencers have an accent. Your abs will love you. It's gonna burn, guys. It just hits different, you know? Please don't take this seriously, guys. I'm just talking about my specific preference. I'm currently looking on my phone for notes. And if you guys are wondering, my phone case is from Caseify. Thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring this video. I am so happy that I discovered Caseify. Their cases are so freaking cute. Like, look at that. I really like to meditate, so it kind of like matches with that vibe. Before I started using Caseify, I was using this case company. I'm not going to say their name, but I thought it was good quality, but my phone cracked, guys. I don't know if you can see, but my phone is like severely cracked. And recently, my phone has been having a lot of issues, and it makes me really wish that I discovered Caseify earlier. So guys, please grab a case from Caseify before your phone ends up like mine. Caseify has a ton of military grade protection cases. All of their cases will survive a drop of six feet. So this is my phone before dropping it. As you guys can see, I made some mistakes prior to this, but we're gonna go drop it. You guys know that I like to ball. I'm scared. Push. Is that okay? As you can see, my phone is still in its prior condition. It was cracked before, but it's not anymore cracked. Drop <laughs> test approved by me. Caseify literally has so many styles on their site. I got some customizable ones. This cute case with faces on it. A like plane ticket case. Caseify is donating 10 free sanitizing wipes with every single order to just give back to the community. So go click the link in my description to get 20% off your Caseify order. That's caseify.com slash Annie Long. I totally forgot to record this but for music i give mad fit four stars it's pretty good she uses some similar songs to pamela and for difficulty i give her four out of five stars her difficulty is definitely there today is lily savory day i'm gonna change into my workout clothes but i'm really excited for this one because i love lily and i recently started doing her workouts so before i didn't really do them when i first started my fitness journey i think it was about last year i fell for this complete fallacy that so many people fall for and it's that these workouts will get you your dream body it doesn't matter what workout influencer you go to eating is seriously the main thing that will push you to your goals for calories per minute i give her three out of five stars my heart rate was never like that high my average heart rate was 117 which was significantly lower than pamela's and pamela's was lower than mad fit and chloe ting i give her personality a five out of five stars i love the way that she just talks us through her workout she really helps me with form i feel like a lot of fitness influencers honestly forget to let you know how to do things because your form could be totally wrong but if they're just playing music and not speaking to you you'll never really know and and because she's talking so much, it actually gets the workout to feel quicker. I give her 3.5 out of 5 stars because she uses similar music to Madfits. Of course, with the talking, the music is actually pretty quiet, so you're not really like jamming out. 
I give her a four to five stars because her ab workouts are killer. They're not as hard as Pamela's, but they're definitely difficult. I feel it in my ass. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm doing a vlog of Lottie's workouts for the first time. It's currently like 7.30 a.m. I caught the nice, you know, light on my shoulder. I'm doing a vlog of Lottie's workouts. Honestly, I don't really know who she is. I just know that she was in a scandal or something. I will do more research. It seems like the main problem that people have with her from some videos that I've been watching is that she's not body positive. I'm not gonna look into it too much because most of the videos that they're mentioning have been from like a year plus ago. It seems like she's less controversial now. It looks like Blagalotti's doesn't have any like hit workouts, but she has full body workouts, so I think that's pretty much the same thing. I'm just gonna do the best one that I can find. I'm so impressed, guys. Wow. It's time to rate Vlogalotti. Calories burned per minute. I give her a 4 out of 5 stars. I actually think that she's so smart and has a great formula. While I was doing her workout, it was very low impact. There was no jumping. I wasn't, you know, doing burpees everywhere. But I still burned so many calories. So I really think that she has a strategy of getting your heart rate up without you feeling, like, winded. Which is honestly great because who wants to feel winded if you're still going to burn a lot of calories if you don't feel winded? When it comes to her personal personality I give her a four to five stars I really like how she talks us through the workout she is pretty peppy but not unnaturally peppy and I really like the way that she encourages you to challenge yourself while you're doing her workouts for her music I give her a two oh. out of five stars it's honestly pretty basic there's nothing special about it and because she's talking so much the music is pretty quiet and really not a big element of the video of course I do like when workout influencers talk you through the workouts but Chloe Ting also talks through her workouts but she doesn't do it the whole time Time. She just does a little voiceover and then lets you enjoy or suffer through her like techno EDM music. I give Blogilates a 4 out of 5 stars. PC has really shown me that Pilates is hard. I've never tried Pilates before. I think Pilates is more low impact but really focuses on strength. Like a lot of the times throughout the workout I was like, I'm dying. I didn't expect to be challenged that much. We're on our second to last day and today I'm going to be testing out Whitney Simmons. Whitney Simmons is like a Gymshark athlete. She has a ton of followers on Instagram, subscribers on YouTube. I have never done one of her workouts. The fact that she loves gym Gymshark makes me really excited to start her workouts because I love Gymshark so much, guys. I've literally been wearing their outfits, I think, every day. So, Whitney Simmons. I was very impressed by her. For calories per minute, I give her a 5 out of 5 stars. She burned one more calorie in the 30 minutes than Chloe Ting did. She beats Chloe by very little, but I was very impressed. Honestly, the reason why I had such low expectations for Whitney is because her workout videos were not a good format. Her ab workout video actually wasn't real time. She didn't have actual timers, so a lot of times I had to pause it and start my own timer, which was kind of annoying. I really do prefer like the real time workout videos that you can just play follow along to and not have to pause or skip ahead i feel like because she's like a gym shark athlete she's really educated on what type of workouts to do so i really trust her when it comes to her personality she is kind of chill but also peppy at the same time i feel like she's a perfect balance i give her four to five stars honestly i feel like we would vibe together and if i were a workout influencer i feel like my vibe would be similar to hers her music however i give two out of five stars really basic she's pretty much talking the whole time when she's not talking, her music is really quiet. For the difficulty, I give her a 4 to 5 stars. The difficulty is similar to Chloe Ting's, but I really like the way that she gets creative with her workouts. These workouts you will not see in many other fitness influencers' videos. She likes to do combos of stuff, so like jumping forward and stuff. I honestly didn't have enough room in my room to do some of her workouts. We are on to our last day, and today we'll be testing out Emmy Wong. I feel like Emmy Wong is often forgotten, and it's probably because she's less active than the other girls but I think that's definitely someone that I want to rate and try. So if you're a huge fan of Emmy Wong I suggest that you click out. For calories burned per minute I gave her three out of five stars. She burned the least amount of calories out of all these workout influencers and I really do think it's because her workouts are more geared to beginners. When I first started getting into working out I did her HIIT workout and I would burn so many calories from them. But as I've gotten more experienced and stronger my heart rate doesn't go as high because I'm just not as challenged. Her ab workouts too are very much 
on the ground. They did burn, but they were pretty beginner style. I give her three to five stars, just like I did with Pamela, because there's nothing I don't like about her necessarily. There's nothing I love about her either. For her music, I give her three out of five stars. It's kind of similar to Chloe's vibe, but her music is a little bit less annoying than Chloe's, and she mixes it up more. When it comes to the difficulty of her workouts, I give her three stars. Pretty beginner based, honestly, not something I'm gonna go back to. But I heard that her thigh workouts are really good, so I might start getting into those. I actually don't know who's the best workout influencer yet, so I'm gonna go calculate it right now. Drum roll, please. So the best fitness influencer is Pamela Reed. Her average came out to 4.0625 out of 5 stars. Now I'm going to be going down the whole list. Madfit and Lily Sabri tied. Chloe Ting and Whitney Simmons tied. And Vlogilates and Emmy Wong tied. I hope that my rating system really helps you guys in knowing what you want. I mean, obviously, we all have our different preferences. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.